I never bought into that I am going to be controlled by some either astrological setup of the stars or that I'm going to wait for 2,500 years or whatever for the next period of Aquarius to come or Aries to Aquarius or Pisces to Aquarius. All those, yeah. you know, it's almost like, well, okay, I do believe in immortality, but do I really want to wait for two and a half thousand years for another season to come? I believe that those seasons were illustrative of God's desire to do something. Hence, OK, let's look at the Aquarius and the water pourer. And people will prophesy all sorts of stuff about whether there's, there's living water coming, there's streams of water going to flow. We're going to have revival waters flowing, you know, all depending on what where they're tuned into. They will use that form of Aquarius to say all sorts of stuff. And then the transition between the ages and all that stuff. Yeah, there is often transition between what God is doing. Do I believe in times and seasons that God operates? Yes. Do I believe God operates within our times and seasons to help us relate to things? Yes. Because sometimes he says to me in three years time. So he's respecting the fact that we live in time. Now, ultimately, Am I subject to that in that legislating and governing the times and seasons that God wants to do something is for me agreeing with God and participating in the co-heirship to bring about what God desires? Now, that doesn't mean I can govern somebody else. I can't control someone or control what some people do. Now, I think sometimes when you think you know what God's heart is and you try and make what God's heart is by controlling other people or legislating against other people, I don't think that's how God wants us to do it. I believe everything that we legislate should be for blessing, never for cursing. So never for removing somebody or Anyway, someone ends up dying or send, someone ends up losing their job. And yeah, I legislated for that. I don't think that's how God really wants us to do it. Personally, I'm not saying that you could do it because you may have the power and the authority to do certain things as a son. But is it necessarily what God wanted us to do? I'm not convinced. I don't resonate always with the sort of I'm so concerned with what's going on in the world. I need to change it. Because the way that then seems to get transpired is that I'm going to come against this and I'm going to come against that and I'm going to go come against the other. I don't think God comes against anything. God wants to bless to bring about change and transformation. I'm not sure that's the negative. And I think there's still a bit of spiritual warfare in a few people that operates. That they're looking at it as a warfare type. I'm coming against the enemy. But they seem to do it in the same spirit, not the opposite spirit. So I'm going to operate in love in what I'm doing. Now, for me, I can govern in love and that will bring about change to bless people's lives, to bring them into an alignment with who God says they are and what God wants for their lives. And I can call that into being. I can decree and declare that I can govern and legislate that. But I'm not controlling those people. They still have a choice to embrace God's heart for them. And if they don't want to embrace God's heart for them, I can't control them into. And I can't control a government into changing a policy just because I don't think the policy is what God wants. Because I think a lot of some of people's ideas are coming out of their own sense of what's right and wrong and justice rather than God's or sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm I'm totally in agreement that we have as sons the ability to cycle the seasons or cycle things in time to bring about change and transformation and that might appear to be a, an acceleration but i'm not going to be controlled by the cosmic clock i think we are therefore to govern times and seasons to bring about god's purposes but not mine or someone else's or in a negative way in any sense Therefore, if I'm governing time, what am I trying to do? Control time, control what happens in time. 
You know, if time is also a being that we yeah. can cooperate with, and therefore, I believe process and journey is what things are about. And people are on different cycles of journey and process. For some people, it takes a lot longer than others. Therefore, if you're going to try and control the time, then you're going to make it too fast for someone and too slow for somebody else. So they're there to legislate for their own outworking of their journey within the time that they're in. So I think it's complex. And I'm not convinced that people know what governing space and time really means mm -hmm. when it's set. And I don't think that it's ever really explained to a degree that most people would get it. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.